ओके इन अ प्लेन ओके इन अ सेम प्लेन टू लाइन्स आर आइदर पैरल और इंटरसेक्ट बट द इफ द लाइन्स आर नाइदर पैरल नॉर इंटरसेक्ट देन द टू लाइन्स आर लाय ऑन अ डिफरेंट प्लेन एंड दैट लाइन्स आर कॉल्ड अ स्क्यू लाइन्स स्क्यू लाइन्स मीन्स लाइन्स नाइदर पैरल नॉर इंटरसेक्ट दैट इज अ नॉन को प्लेनर लाइन्स ओके हियर यू सी हियर इट इज अ क्यूब और इट इज अ पैरल प्यूर देर आर सिक्स प्लेन्स it is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay we consider <coughs> it is a line okay here it is line lie on this plane and it is a second line lie on this plane okay these two lines are neither parallel nor intersect okay because this line lie on this plane okay if we increase this line infinite okay here infinitely increase and this line we infinitely increase that two lines are not intersect each other because these two lines are lie on a different plane this this line lie on this plane and this line lie on this plane okay here yeah. now we see like this type okay again these two lines are lie on a different plane okay but you look like when we draw a diagram okay these two lines like a intersect okay here yeah. we see if is these two lines are intersect each other but we draw a diagram by two dimension okay we draw a picture on board it is a two dimensional but these two lines are look like intersect but these two lines are lie on different plane these are not intersect okay here these two lines lie on a different plane so these two lines are not intersect okay that means these two lines are the skew lines that means non coplanar lines are called a skew lines okay neither parallel nor intersect if two lines are neither parallel nor intersect okay now we see the shortest distance between line okay shortest distance between two lines okay here we see a theorem the shortest distance between lines two lines here r bar is equal to a1 bar plus lambda b1 bar here two lines here we to we take a1 lambda 1 and b1 equation of line it is r bar is equal to a bar plus lambda b bar okay there are two lines okay. and r bar is equal to a2 bar plus lambda 2 b to bar is shortest distance we can write here a2 bar minus a1 bar dot b1 bar cross b2 bar b1 bar cross b2 bar upon magnitude of b1 cross b2 Okay, yeah, it is a shortest distance between two lines. Okay, here yeah, there are a given two lines. We can find the shortest distance. Okay, here yeah, if our two lines are like that here, these are the two lines. Okay, here yeah, we can find the shortest distance. It is a line L one here. Let it is a L one. It is a first line. R bar is equal to a1 bar plus lambda 1 b1 bar and l2 it is r bar is equal to a2 bar plus lambda 2 b2 bar are given lines we can find the distance between two lines that is the shortest distance between two lines okay here distance between lines we already seen the concept distance between lines in two dimension that is the distance between parallel lines okay here in two dimension that is if the lines are in a plane that lines are either intersect or parallel to each other here l1 and l2 it is l1 and l2 if two lines are either intersect or parallel in two dimension okay here if two lines are intersect then their distance between them it is a zero 
and if two lines are the parallel then the distance between them it is a distance perpendicular distance of a point point on a line from second line okay it is a perpendicular distance between line it is a distance between lines but here it is the lines are parallel okay there is a no concept in a two dimension that is the shortest distance between line okay it is a shortest distance if lines are intersect then distance between them is zero if lines are parallel then distance between them it is a perpendicular distance in two dimension we can see only the distance between parallel lines okay not a distance between any lines and here these two lines are a skew lines shortest distance between any two lines okay shortest distance between any two lines that means the lines are neither parallel nor intersect each other okay neither parallel nor intersect okay in a two dimension there is no concept of a find the shortest distance between line there is only one find the distance between parallel lines okay here in a two dimension now we see a three dimension okay here see careful in a three dimension we can find the shortest distance between two lines there are given it is a two lines it is suppose one is l1 and it is l2 okay these are the two lines okay here these are two lines are neither parallel nor intersect okay then distance between them it is a perpendicular suppose it is a pq it is a distance between them here pq is a perpendicular to both the lines okay now here we see pq look like only perpendicular to the line l1 and not perpendicular to the line l2 but it is a also perpendicular to the line l2 this diagram on the board it is a two dimension okay and here the lines are in the three dimension because these two lines are the lie on a different plane okay here these two lines lie on a different plane okay see carefully here these are the two lines neither parallel nor intersect here we can explain it is a skew lines okay here like that this type okay these two lines okay neither parallel nor intersect because this line lie on a different plane and date okay that is a non coplanar line now we find the shortest distance between them shortest distance okay here now pq is a perpendicular to both the lines okay but here not this not look like a perpendicular okay pq here we can find the shortest distance these two lines okay here see carefully when we tap this line it is we can find these two points here it is a tapping point okay here we find the shortest distance between these two points that is one is a p and one is q and both are perpendicular okay here we see like that here suppose these are the two lines but here we can see it is a perpendicular this rubber band that is a line pq it is a perpendicular to both okay see carefully okay these lines are in a three dimension okay it is a pq is a perpendicular to both the line we can write here like this like this and when we can say it is parallel then it is always perpendicular okay we can find the perpendicular distance when it is a parallel then that means the lines are coplanar lines contain the same plane but here lines are not parallel and not neither intersect okay lines are neither parallel nor intersect and then this black rubber band it is a line pq and it is see carefully it is a perpendicular to the both the line and now we find the shortest distance between them that is this okay and now here it is in the three dimension so this line l1 and l2 like a intersect everywhere here intersect of any one point it is in the two dimension but these two lines are the neither intersect not intersect everywhere because this line lie in a different plane and this line lie in a different plane okay here see carefully pq is a perpendicular to both here it is pq not look like a perpendicular to the line l1 but it is a perpendicular it is a three dimension and this diagram in the two dimension okay now we find the shortest distance between them we consider it is a pq is a shortest distance see carefully okay we consider pq is a shortest distance but p and q not given anywhere okay here given that only a bar a1 b1 a2 and b2 a1 and a2 
okay a1 bar and a2 bar are the position vectors of points passing through the line okay suppose we consider it is a a with position vector a1 and second point consider we can it is a b with position vector a2 okay see we consider the position vector of point b it is a a2 okay we have given this two points okay here pq are not given it is pq is a distance between lines okay we can find the pq okay here and b1 and b2 b1 bar and b2 bar are the vectors parallel to the line b1 it is a parallel to the we can draw anywhere here it is a we can draw here or here it is a b1 and here b2 yeah b1 and b2 b1 is a parallel to l1 and b2 is a parallel to l2 then here pq is a perpendicular to both the lines see carefully pq is a perpendicular to the both the line and here b1 and b2 are parallel to the lines b1 and b2 are the parallel to the lines then their cross product is perpendicular to the lines okay their cross product is perpendicular to the lines because b1 is a parallel to this line b2 is a parallel to this line therefore their cross product is a perpendicular to both the lines and we have already take pq is a perpendicular to both the lines that means b1 b1 cross b2 is a parallel to pq because pq is perpendicular to both the line b1 cross b2 is also perpendicular to both the lines therefore pq and b1 bar cross b2 bar is a parallel to each other okay now here we see <coughs> now pq let pq is perpendicular to both the lines l1 and l2 okay and we you know it is b1 bar cross b2 bar is also perpendicular to both l1 and l2 okay b1 bar cross b2 bar because b1 bar and b2 bar are parallel to these lines therefore their cross product is perpendicular to what and therefore pq okay vector pq parallel to vector b1 cross b2 okay see carefully it is vector pq it is a parallel to b1 cross b2 because pq is parallel to l1 and l2 sorry pq is a perpendicular to l1 and l2 and b1 bar cross b2 bar is also perpendicular to the line l1 and l2 therefore pq and vector pq and vector b1 cross b2 are the parallel okay now but we want to find the distance that is the length pq we want to find the length pq okay now here see carefully for the finding distance okay perpendicular distance we have take the it is a projection okay it is a vector b bar now we draw perpendicular okay suppose it is point a and it is point b suppose okay and it is suppose it is a m okay take this definition we already learn in the chapter vector scalar product of vector that is the dot product okay it is a scalar projection scalar projection means the distance of a point o and a okay it is a distance of point o and a it is a distance between these two point but we have to find the perpendicular distance of a point a on vector b perpendicular distance of a point a on vector b and it is called the projection of a bar on b bar okay projection of a bar on b bar projection of a bar on b bar it is is perpendicular distance of o and a on b bar okay perpendicular distance between o and a perpendicular distance of point a from o okay here we can write systematically it is a perpendicular distance okay projection of a bar on b bar is perpendicular distance of 
पॉइंट ए फ्रॉम ओ फ्रॉम ओ ऑन फेक्टर बीवा ओके इट इज अ प्रोजेक्शन इट इज अ परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस ऑफ पॉइंट ए ऑन बी इट इज अ प्रोजेक्शन एंड देन वी कैन फाइंड द प्रोजेक्शन बाय यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला हियर ए बार डॉट बी बार अपॉन मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ बी बार इट इज अ प्रोजेक्शन नाउ वी कैन फाइंड हेयर पी एंड क्यू आर नॉट गिवन बट हेयर गिवन दैट पॉइंट ए एंड बी ओके वी कैन फाइंड परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू बी ऑन पी क्यू ओके हेयर सी केयरफुली इट इज अ परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस हेयर परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस From point A to B on vector PQ and on vector PQ that means on vector B bar cross A bar because PQ and B bar cross B1 cross B2 are the parallel. Okay, here it is a projection. See carefully. It is a perpendicular distance. OM is a projection. See carefully. OM is a projection of A bar on B bar. OM, okay. OM is a projection of A bar on B bar. That is, it is a perpendicular distance of point. A from O on vector B bar. It is a projection of A bar on B bar. A bar dot B bar upon magnitude of A bar. Okay. Now, here PQ segment PQ, not a here vector. PQ is equal to PQ is a length distance between two lines. PQ. Distance between two lines. Okay, here we can write here. Distance between lines. PQ and here PQ is projection of AB. Okay, vector AB on vector PQ. That means PQ. Okay, it is a length PQ is projection. of ab on vector b1 cross b2 okay here it is a projection it is o sorry it is ab and it is a perpendicular okay here projection it is a b1 cross b2 suppose it is a parallel to the pq okay this vector pq pq parallel to the b1 cross b2 okay b1 cross b2 we can take here here anywhere it is a free vector okay now Here, projection. It is A to B, and we perpendicular from the terminal point of the vector on this. Okay. Now, projection of AB on B1 cross B2, and then by definition of projection, here vector AB dot B1 cross B2 upon magnitude of B1 cross B2. here pq is a distance here here it is a scalar product between these two vectors scalar product becomes negative we find the distance so we take modulus modulus of vector ab into b1 cross b2 upon magnitude of b1 bar cross b2 bar okay and now last it is ab position vector of b it is a2 position vector of point b it is a2 a2 minus a1 dot b1 bar cross b2 bar upon magnitude of b1 cross b2 it is a shortest distance between two lines r it is between these two lines l1 and l2 a2 bar minus a1 bar dot b1 cross b2 upon magnitude of b1 cross b2 it is the shortest distance okay it is a vector form to find the shortest distance